New Jersey man is convicted of second-degree murder in the death of his 12-year-old babysitter in Shenango County. George Ford Jr. was found guilty this afternoon of running the girl over with his truck and killing her. Our Neil St. Clair joining us now with reaction. Good evening, Neil. Good evening, Kate. Thanks so much. Yes, it was a very shocking verdict for some in the packed courtroom. Judge Joseph Colley wasting no time getting right into it. He sat down. He convicted George Ford Jr. of second-degree murder. And as I said, he wasted no time or words in convicting Ford. The verdict was quick and matter-of-fact. George Ford Jr. guilty of second-degree murder. The Shenango DA pleased. Ford's attorney somewhat surprised. Anytime there's a child involved, in a uh, situation like this, the, the, you know, the odds are stacked against you. But, uh, you know, and it went in front of the judge, um, yeah, it's a surprise. The, the judge's verdict was, was correct. The GPS was the latest technology proved beyond any doubt that this man intentionally killed that poor young girl that day. The murder conviction stems back to July of 2007 when the then 42-year-old Ford ran over his 12-year-old babysitter, Cheyenne Summers. Ford claims it was an accident, but the DA says a GPS device his wife secretly put on Ford's truck was the turning point for the case. This will always be a landmark case because the GPS unit not only told us where he went and proved that he wasn't telling the truth when he talked to the police. Some of Cheyenne's family broke into tears as the verdict was read. They chose not to address the media, but it was clear that this was an emotional case for everyone involved. They get really attached to uh, these cases, so this is, a, this is justice served, and uh, we're very happy with the outcome. Ford, originally from New Jersey, was at his vacation home near South Otsilik when the events unfolded with Cheyenne. The police became concerned when they noticed there was some unaccounted for time with the young girl. And there was also concern about why he was showing her horses in the pre-dawn hours, as Ford claimed. The DA says he believes there was sexual misconduct, but that was never proven. Scharf says that Ford's case may serve as a cautionary tale for others. George shouldn't take the babysitter home. And um, when you don't do that and something bad happens, um, we got to pay the price. Now, Sharp, now Sharf says that he is going to appeal, but this being a bench trial, that'll make things much more difficult. Ford's sentencing is set for May 18th, and he faces 15 years to life. Kate? All right, Neil St. Clair reporting for us in Norwich. Thanks, Neil.